How many of you are still relying on your web browser to remember your passwords? It's convenient, sure, but is it safe? Think about it. How often do you reuse passwords across multiple websites? Or maybe you're using the same pet name followed by the birth year of your middle child and you throw in a special character for good measure. Let's talk about it. According to a recent survey from some random site on the internet that I read, so of course it's true, 85% of internet users reuse the same passwords, and a whopping 58% rely on their memory to manage them. And over half use easily identifiable information in their passwords, like pet names or song lyrics. Unfortunately, the ease of reusing passwords wins out over the security risks. If you reuse passwords, all it takes is one data breach and hackers have access to all of your online accounts. So what's the solution? Is there a better way? Absolutely there is, and it's free. I'm going to show you a powerful, free password manager that's not limited to one browser like saving your passwords to Google Chrome that you can use for all of your passwords because it's a standalone application. Today, we're talking about Bitwarden, the free version. Bitwarden's free version is a robust password manager that provides essential security and convenience features at no cost. It is designed to be a better alternative to browser-based password managers by offering more comprehensive security and functionality. Bitwarden Free is designed for individual users who need a secure and simple way to manage passwords and other sensitive information without paying for advanced features. Somebody will leave a comment saying Bitwarden isn't free. Look. Just because something has a paid version with extra features doesn't mean the free version isn't free. It's not a free trial. That's very different. I don't make videos on free trials. We like long-term solutions on this channel. Bitwarden uses end-to-end -end encryption. This means your data is encrypted locally on your device before it ever leaves, ensuring that only you have access to it. Even the Bitwarden team can't unlock your data. Bitwarden uses AES 256-bit encryption along with some other very technical sounding security protocols to keep your information safe. You also get unlimited password storage, store as many passwords, secure notes, and other sensitive items as you need without any limits. And you can access these passwords on any device. Because Bitwarden is available as a native application for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux desktops. There's also mobile apps for both iOS and Android, in addition to probably any browser extension you could possibly need. Another great feature is that Bitwarden is open source. The source code is available for review, which ensures transparency and that there are no hidden vulnerabilities. We love us some open source software on this channel. Okay, so we're gonna go set it up. I'll show you how to create your account import passwords from your browsers, set up the browser extension, and we'll take it for a drive. But first thing we need to do is you need to create a master password. This is super important because it's used to encrypt all of your data. It needs to be long, it needs to be unique, and it needs to be one that you've never used before. Let's not recycle one of those old passwords. A good way to do this is by creating a sentence that doesn't make any sense. For example, 12 gallons of laptop watermelons. Write down your master password and keep it somewhere safe because there is no way to recover it. Once you have that super long and secure password selected, let's head on over to bitwarden.com. Also, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Bitwarden website. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You can go ahead and start and set up your account from here. I like to start with the desktop application. So I'm gonna go to downloads. Then I'm gonna come down here, find my desktop application, go to windows. Then I'm going to check Bitwarden installer.exe. 
that's going to download here and then I'm going to click on it to run the installation file. I'm going to click install and it is going to do just that. Okay, now I'm going to click finish and go ahead and run Bitwarden. Okay, so now you're going to come down here to where it says create an account because we don't have an account yet. Or if you started from the web browser, maybe you created your account first and now you're here. Either way, I'm creating a new account. Okay, I'm gonna, we have to put in our email address. After you get your email address in, go ahead and put your name. I'm going to uncheck this box here. I don't want advice or announcements or anything else. I'm going to click continue. All right, so we're going to check our email and there should be a verification email in there. Just click the verify email button. All right, so from here, we're going to set that master password that we talked about, that really long secure one that you're going to write down and store in an extremely safe place and never lose because it can't be recovered. Put in a password hint if you wish. I am not. I will leave this checkbox checked. It'll let us know if this password has been identified in any type of known breach. I'm going to click create account. Okay, now we are on the web version. I prefer the desktop application, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for now because I don't need it. And then I'm going to log in here. Okay, now that we are inside of Bitwarden, there's a few things that we need to do. So right now, we don't have any passwords in here stored. Now, of course, you could manually add a whole bunch of usernames and passwords if that is your thing. What I'm going to do is import all of the ones that I had previously. And to do that, I'll show you a couple of ways here real quick. So I'm gonna go to Firefox. This is gonna be the same process if you're using Chrome. From my Firefox browser, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to passwords. I'm going to click the three dots up here in the right hand corner and I'm going to go to export passwords. Now this is just basically letting you know that you're about to create a file and it's suggesting that once you're done with that file you should delete it and if that is a good suggestion. I'm going to go to continue with export. It's going to create a folder called Passwords. I'm just going to save it on my desktop for now because that's where we're working at. I'm going to go Save. So here's a couple of more settings that I'm going to go ahead and change while I'm in the Firefox browser. I'm going to go to Passwords. So under Options, I'm going to come right here and uncheck the box to ask me if I want to auto save passwords because we won't be using Firefox's password manager any longer. That will be important here in a moment. We don't want both Bitwarden and Firefox trying to autofill passwords for us, so I've turned that one off. So we're going to now import those passwords that we exported from Firefox. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go to Import Data. So that was File, Import Data. Under Data, I'm going to choose the file type, which is going to be a Firefox CSV file for me. I'm going to click Choose File, and I'm going to select this passwords file that I created and put on the desktop. And now I'm going to select Import Data. And it's pulled in the four passwords that I have saved to Firefox. This is my test computer, so I just added a few things for this demonstration. So now those passwords are in Bitwarden. Let's look at a couple of other settings that are going to be important. If you want to set up a two-step verification, you can do this right here under account. If I go to two-step login, so two-step login makes your account more secure by requiring you to verify your login with another device such as a security key, authentication app, SMS, phone call, or email. Two-step login can be set up on the bitwarden.com web vault. Do you want to visit the website now? I'm going to do that just to show you I'm not going to set up two-factor. Okay, so from the web portal, I'm going to come over here to settings and security. And then if you come over here to two-step login, you can set up your two-factor authentication. You can do that either email. You can use an authenticator app, either an existing authenticator app that you already have, like Microsoft or Google, or you can download the 
Bitwarden app and it can act as your authenticator. Okay, coming back to the web portal, I'm gonna go ahead and go to install browser extension. So this is the extension for Firefox. And of course, whichever browser you're using, you'll download that extension, but this will allow you to access the different websites and Bitwarden will auto insert your password and username so you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the Firefox extension. I'm gonna hit add here. So I'm gonna click on extensions right here. I'm going to click on the gearbox next to Bitwarden and pin it to the toolbar so that it's always up top here so I can access it when I need it. Go ahead and click on that. Now you must log into the extension once you add it. Okay, now that I'm logged into the web extension, I have a lot of the same information here that I would have from the desktop application or the web portal. Now let's just go to a website like a Domino's. And if I go to sign in over here, okay, and I got 50 points for some dominoes, which I want pepperoni, extra cheese. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. I would suggest going to their website. They have a ton of resources and walkthrough guides including a complete walkthrough of what we just did on setting up your account and going through some of those features. So I would definitely recommend coming through here step by step to get a better tutorial than what I just provided. But essentially, if you have a question, there is going to be an answer here on their website. There's even a video here that you can watch on how to create a Bitwarden account, setting up the browser extension, activating two-step login, so they have an individual video for each of those things that we just covered. So let's recap. Browser password managers are convenient, but they have their limitations when it comes to security and features. Bitwarden Free, on the other hand, offers advanced features like end-to-end -end encryption, unlimited storage, cross-platform syncing, and open source transparency, all for free. It's a much safer and more robust solution. It provides better security, more control, and more features than any browser-based option. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out this other video. As always, thank you for watching and until next time.